This video will walk you through how to set up your Canvas account, as well as how to navigate this learning management system. After acceptance to the program, you will receive a course invitation in your email one week before the course start date. This email will be from Instructure.com, the company that owns the program. If you don't see the email in your inbox, be sure to check your spam folder. Once you open the email, click on Get Started. After clicking the Get Started link, you will register for the course by first clicking on Create My Account. Then you'll enter the same email that you use to apply for the course on the login line. You'll then type a secure password that you can remember. Then select the check mark when you agree to the acceptable use policy. The last step will be to click Register. You will always use the usucourses.instructure.com URL address when you want to access the site where you can log into the course. It is strongly recommended that you add this URL as a favorite so that you can easily return throughout the course. In the Home tab, you will find links to all of the things that you need to know and steps that you need to take before starting the class. Here you will find the steps to get started, the course syllabus, the course modules, and the program coordinators page with their contact information. You will be assigned one of the program coordinators below for the duration of this course. On the home page, begin by selecting Start Here. Below are the steps to complete before the first workshop of the course. Starting on the first Monday of the course, you will have three days to complete these steps. The kickoff workshop will happen on the first Thursday of the course. You can complete the first module before the kickoff, but this is not required. The first step is to read the course syllabus. It will outline the course schedules, course objectives, explanations of assignments and assessments, grading policies, and instructor contact information. It is important to read this carefully. In order for you to receive a certificate at the end of the course, you must complete all of the assignments, get 80% or more as your final grade, and attend all four workshops. To track your progress, you can check your grades by selecting the Grades tab on the left sidebar. Here you can see when the assignment is due, the status of the assignment, such as submitted or missing, and the score. If there is a T or a paper icon in the score, this means that the assignment has been submitted, but not yet graded. If you receive only a partial score for your grade on an assignment, make sure to check the comments to see why. In the second paragraph of step one, there is a link to download all of the current PDF assignments for the course. Make sure to use this link to ensure that you have all the PDF assignments downloaded. The second step is to explore the online tools that you will be using during this course. These tools will include Canvas, Slack, Zoom, Trello, and other online resources that you can find at remoteworkcertificate.com resources. Step three will be to test your internet connection. Visit speedtest.net to check your internet connection speed. For the course, you will need at least eight megabits per second download speed and 1.5 megabits per second upload speed. For step four, you will need to read the technical requirements page that identifies the browsers, operating systems, and plugins that work best with Canvas. Then for step five, you will be asked to review and abide by the USU Honor Code to avoid cheating, falsifying information, or plagiarism. You will also be asked to review the core rules of netiquette, which provides you with guidelines and expectations on how to behave online. For step six, you will begin designing your ideal remote job. To help you begin thinking about that process, please review the information found in the Virtual Career Center. The last step here will be to go to modules. The modules are where the course content is organized. Each module will consist of concepts and skills to learn, assignments, and quizzes. The concepts and skills section will cover all of the material that you need to learn in the module. As you go through the concepts and skills, make sure to go to the next part by clicking on it at the bottom of the page. Don't click on next or previous, or it will take you to another assignment or quiz and not to the next step. At the end of the concepts and skills material in each module, there will be a workday assignment that you will submit to your program coordinator on Canvas. Don't use the link at the end of concepts and skills. This is an old PDF. To download the current PDF, go to the download all assignments link mentioned in step one on the homepage. There will be four workshop assignments throughout the class where you will meet with your class virtually on Zoom. The URL to join this meeting is found here and will be the same throughout the course. 
You will also be provided a link both by email and in Slack the day before each meeting. Each module will also have a quiz that will go over the concepts and skills that you learned in that module. In order to move on to the next module, you must complete the one preceding it. This video walked you through how to set up your Canvas account, as well as how to navigate this learning management system. If you have any questions about Canvas that were not answered in this video, please contact your program coordinator.